I'm just gonna cook it like that. This looks, it actually does not look that bad. My hat came off. There it is. So what's up guys? So the tree house I'm going to be hunting out of is somewhere in this area. So we're going to be going after a groundhog today with my compound bow right here. And this tree house is old too, like it's almost completely fallen off the tree. I went up there yesterday, it supported me so we should be okay to sit up there and wait for this groundhog to come out of the hole. See there it is right there, it is not looking good at all. This thing is so old. Alright, I'm going up. All right, we made it up in the tree right here. This is like the only tree actually supporting this thing. Well, there's this one too over here. There used to be a tree right there holding that side up, but it is rotted and like fallen over, so there's like no support over there. It's like leaning way down. Got the bow already, and there's where I'm waiting for the groundhog to come out. There's several holes up there. There's one right there. There's one somewhere right there, a little tiny one. And there's a big one down there. It should be good to go. I have trail cameras on all the holes just in case we can get some good footage. So like two days ago I was driving down there in the pasture and I looked up and saw big groundhogs sitting right there on the hill. And my original plan was to get way down there like 50 yards with my air rifle and just snipe him when he came out. But then I remembered we have this tree house up here so I thought it'd be cool to like come up here with my bow and try to get him. This is probably like my fifth time filming trying to shoot a groundhog with my bow. Like last year I tried it like four or five times filming it and it never worked out so hopefully it will this time. I should probably be more quiet because I'm like 15 yards away from his holes right now so he might hear me. Always make sure you do practice draw before you take your shot on an actual animal to make sure you are good, like confident in taking the shot I guess. Alright, so I have the green lighted knocks on the end of my arrow so it lights up when I shoot it. And the broadhead I'm using isn't like your normal sharp broadhead, like for deer hunting and stuff. These are called judo points. I want to, I think they're called zwicky, something like that. And they're like the original judo points. These things are so tough. Like they have the four springs and you can like shoot these at anything and the springs don't bend or anything, it's crazy. So what this does is it doesn't, when you hit the animal, it doesn't like cut into the flesh. It just hits it so hard because the blunt tip right there and it just kills them like that. And these springs are just to like, if it gets, if you shoot it into grass, these springs will catch the grass and you won't lose your arrow. So these things are awesome. It's 1.40 right now. I'm prepared to be waiting here all afternoon. Hopefully we'll see some here in like an hour. Dumb. Scare him, trying to scare my groundhogs away. <laughs> what? <laughs> I told him to leave, so we should be good now. And it's early in the spring too right now, so all the groundhogs are just now coming out of hibernation. And they should be all hungry right now, and they should be like, you know, coming out of their holes pretty active to get food. I don't think we're going to be waiting here very long. I think we're going to get it done today. I hope we can. Oh, and by the way, I'm not just killing these groundhogs just to make this video. There's a soybean field right up there where they destroy the soybeans in the summer. So I'm trying to get them out of here early. Yep, this is just pest control right now. I think we're going to do a catch and cook with them. I've done catch and cooks with groundhogs before, and they've turned out terrible every time. But I might try a different recipe this time. Hopefully you can make them taste a little better. I did not even know there was a groundhog living down there. He's like at 30 yards, I might take the shot. I think I'm going to. I got him. I shot him a little high, but he's down. He's trying to get away with he's, he's still alive. I have to put a follow-up shot in him before he gets away. We got him. So right there's the tree house I was in, and these are all the holes right here. And there's a hole right there too. And he almost made it to that hole. Like, I shot him down there. He went down the creek and got all the way up here. I thought that was on my 30 or 30 yard pin. 
shots and I hit him high so I guess it was closer than I thought. His nerves are still going but he was mad though. That thing was mad. He about, he was like charging me. That was crazy. We're back up in the treehouse again. I did not even know there's groundhogs living down there. And check out the judo points. Still good as new. I cleaned them off. Nothing is bent at all. Those things are so good. They're not like the ones on Amazon that you can buy like a dozen of them for a couple bucks and they fall apart. These things hold up so good. Over there in that pile where I was not expecting one to be, um, I'm still gonna wait till one comes out of here because I really want to get one like a good headshot like it from this distance. I'm gonna keep my eye on that spot because I bet there's more groundhogs living down there too. That was so crazy, man. Yes. First groundhog with the bow ever. That was so awesome. So hopefully next time I can get a clean kill on this groundhog because I hate when I wound him like that. Yeah, I guess I should have brought my rangefinder because I did not, I guess that distance wrong, but because I thought I was just going to be shooting, you know, at this 10 yard hole, so. All right, we're back at it, back at waiting. Guys, there's another groundhog down there. See him? He's sitting down there. I have to wait till he comes out more for a shot. Oh, no, no, no. Darn it. Are you kidding me? He just totally ducked my arrow. That looked like the arrow was going right to his head. But he dodged it. Darn it, man. That was like 40 yard shot, dude. Alright, y'all. I'm gonna go try to recover my arrow. Okay, so right there's where I shot that one groundhog. Let's use my parkour skills to cross this creek. There's my arrow. There's a hole down there. And he's got a hole right there. There's my arrow right here. Still got the lighted up knock. No bent springs at all. Good to go. Came back out. Oh, there he goes again. He keeps running back inside. So the groundhog down there over in that pile of wood is starting to get super active because it's like turning evening out. And like I see him down there constantly. I keep seeing him down there just running around in that pile of wood. And he's like super active right now. But what I don't get is over here where I have the trail camera set up. I have not even seen a groundhog stick its head out of the hole yet which is weird because they're really good to fresh holes too. So it's almost seven o'clock. I'll probably leave here in a little bit. It's getting pretty late. I'm sure the groundhogs are probably gonna be going in their holes for the night soon. So, yep, I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully we get something tomorrow. <laughs> All right guys, it's the next day. We're gonna go get up in the treehouse again and try to kill another groundhog. I've been here for like five minutes on day two and I just looked over to my right and that groundhog was sticking his head out of the hole just now. We were staring at each other for like five minutes straight and he didn't even move. He just went back down like one minute ago but he was right in that hole right there. It's three o'clock right now. We'll definitely be getting more active later in the evening, well, later in the afternoon. The weather is nicer today. It's warmer and less windy so that probably has an effect on how much the groundhogs are active but i was like not even ready at all i didn't even have my camera set up or anything okay i'm gonna get everything set up in case he comes back out again in like the next five minutes Guys, I just made a stupid mistake. So first off, 
I decided to do like a little time lapse for like 20, like for like two minutes. Of course, right in the middle of it, the groundhog sticks his head out of the hole. And then I look down at my bow and I realized I forgot my like the shooting little shooting thing that goes on your wrist to pull back the bowstring. I left it in the truck, so I have to go back. I cannot believe I forgot that. Goodness sakes, man. I did decide to go turn off the GoPro while he was while his head was still out of the hole. If he's seen me move to just go turn the GoPro on, he still stayed out of the hole. Like he ducked down a little bit and then stuck his head back out again several times. And I think now when he sticks his head out again and he sees me move to draw back my bow, I think he'll know that I'm just like, I don't know, just moving around up there, not interested in him because you know, I didn't shoot him this time. So I think this may have been a good thing. Hopefully that's what I'm hoping. Yes! I think I just smoked them, guys. I'm pretty sure I just smoked them. Nothing, not even damaged at all. So there we go, second groundhog. I was thinking about staying longer and waiting for the one in that wood pile to come out, the other one, but I haven't seen them all day, so I'm just gonna call it a day. I'm, bro, I'm tired, I'm sick of waiting. So many times he stuck his head out of that hole and I tried to get all the cameras going and he went back down, but we finally did it. I'm so glad we finally did it. <laughs> all right it's later in the day i have the groundhog right here i just cleaned it uh we're just gonna be having straight groundhog last time i had a groundhog was like last summer and it was terrible some of you guys commented some recipes i could do and they sounded really good but i'm kind of short on time and yeah, i'm just gonna cook straight groundhog we'll see how it tastes it's probably gonna turn out terrible anyway but we'll try it out oh <laughs> oh there we go i'm just gonna cook it like that jake got some sauce what is this stuff carolina barbecue okay you don't want to use the rock i think it's good oh yeah i forgot the sauce What do you have to say for yourself? That's, uh, I only decided to cook that one groundhog. The first one, I don't know, I guess we only needed one groundhog to try to cook tonight, I guess, so. That's why I'm only cooking this one. Go. Is that flip? Yep. Gosh. <laughs> so dark out. Nope, <laughs> didn't land it. Take two of the side flip. Yes! There we go. Waffle we'll pop the tree? Yep. I'm not doing that. Wimp. <laughs> Gee, Blake's on Jake's spoiler. There's the Jake out. Turn the camera off. Have to wait for Blake. Huh? Oh! Yeah. Oh yeah, what I noticed when I was cleaning this here, you can still film it, is there was like no fat on it because they just came out of hibernation. So it was just like cleaning a squirrel. It was awesome. Because normally when I clean groundhogs, there's so much fat on them. There we go. What if I just drop it all on the ground? <laughs> this looks, it actually does not look that bad. Good. It's not that bad. It tastes like a chewy squirrel. It's not as bad as the last ones I had because the last ones had way more fat. Okay, that's all I'm eating. It's too chewy. Mmm. <laughs> mmm. Mm. Here, give me a camera. How is it? What's your opinion? A six out of ten. <laughs> 
asking that. I would. I was gonna say like a three. A six out of ten. No way. That's, that's like a, a six out of ten. Right yeah. There. Hurry, give it to Brett. Ooh. Try the back strap. I can't rip it off. <laughs> I can't rip it off. Oh, not that bad. <laughs> Not good. One out of ten. Rated out of ten. Zero out of ten. <laughs> Zero. 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 <laughs> okay, Jake's turn. Give it to Jake. I want to drench it in that shoss. Shoss. <laughs> Just eat it. My side. <laughs> this was a six out of ten. You know what? I'll give it a leg. one. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't. Don't you think it wasn't as bad as the last one we had? I don't remember the last one. <laughs> Do you like it, Wade? Yeah. <laughs> Disgusting. Okay, you can eat it. Or I don't like it. Okay, what's the outro? <laughs> <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs> Subscribe. <laughs>